other story is Tropical Storm Ophelia turning just across the uh, southeast coast. It's actually moving northeast, but as we head into tomorrow, could shift back northwest and head toward the U.S. We'll have to kind of watch it and see exactly what it does or effect it has on the southeast coast. Take a look at your planner. It looks like around 8 a.m. to be around 64 degrees this afternoon, 76, nice and warm, then around 4 o'clock, 80 degrees for our high today. It'll be just a gorgeous day today as well as tomorrow. I'll tell you more about the heat wave that's coming our way in the full IQ Weather Forecast. Back to the desk. All right, thank you so much. I saw Rod Stewart last night. I saw Cheryl Crow. Sing it. Was, yeah, there was some big stars there. Big. Mary J. Huge Very good. fan. Mary J. Blige. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's great. great. Sounds great. great. Yes. Well, guys, we've got some chilly temperatures out there right now, but as we head into the start of the work week, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're talking about temperatures getting up to around 90 degrees, oh, so good. not bad at all. Fairly quiet around our area right now. Here's a shot uh, outside from our Brooklyn camp. I saw right. Three percent. The barometer is on the rise. We've got variable winds at six miles an hour. Now take a look at some of the other area temperatures. Now I told you it's a little chilly out there. 49 degrees at Denbury, Waterbury at 55. As we head to Montgomery, it's around 50 degrees. So if you headed out there, you may want to put something on your arm. 62 Morris Pound, uh, Morris Pound, and as we head north. Poughkeepsie, 49 degrees, 48 in Monticello, so a bit on the nippy side. Now let's head to the tropics. We've got a few storms out here, Tropical Storm Maria and Tropical Storm Nate, kind of just floating around out in the Atlantic, and they are weakening. But as we head close to the U.S., Tropical Storm Ophelia, now moving northeast at around 70 miles an hour. But as we head into tomorrow, it looks like it's going to head back to the U.S. We've got a ridge building into, uh, actually toward the east coast, and it looks like that's what's going to bring Ophelia back toward the U.S., the Carolina, Georgia, also the Florida coast. Here's a better look at Ophelia churning just off the uh, southeast coast there. Now, right now, still out in the Atlantic, and it's weakening. But as I said, tomorrow around 2 p.m., it looks like it's going to head back toward the U.S., could become a Category 2 hurricane. Right now, just dealing with uh, rough surf as well as rip currents if you're headed to the beaches in that area. So this weekend, in our area, looking very good. Dry and warm air continues to press into the uh, greater New England states as well as the northeast radar and satellite tri-state area looking very good and then you saw that ridge just on that uh, last map there we've got very warm air pushing into our region it is going to get hot as we head into the start of our work week so today 80 degrees nice and warm great day for outdoor activities maybe head out to the park go for a bike ride then tomorrow 80 degrees we'll see plenty of sunshine once again as that ridge builds into our area so today here's your forecast very pleasant 80 degrees for the high temperature then tonight clear sky. we like 90 Hey, that's mm -hmm. perfect. Look at that. That's going to work good. <laughs> Thank you, Janine. You're welcome. Up next, Jenna Wolf is a little sports. Baseball, baseball, and then when you get a chance, a little yeah, bit more baseball. Bit Yankee baseball once again turning into a September. After unforced air, it's got to actually go over the net. Despite her frustrations, she did stave off five match points in the second set, but in the third and final set, it was Kleister's who prevailed. She will face Mary Pierce later tonight for all the U.S. Open marbles. Oh. General, I'm hooking us up every single time. She gets the credit. <laughs> I'm feeling you. Thank you, thank you. We've gotten lucky over the past couple of days, and it looks like the rest of our weekend will be fantastic as well. Take a look at some of the temperatures out there right now, mainly in the 60s, but as we head to the west, you can see we get temperatures in the 50s, 51 degrees as we head south of Hapatcong. Uh, it looks like uh, Sussex County uh, around uh, 50 degrees, and it's uh, kind of chilly in that area. Just wear some long sleeves as you head outdoors. The rest of the day will be gorgeous. Let's switch on over to the other system and see what's going on on guys we've got high pressure building its way into the northeast that's what's bringing us the clear skies around the tri-state area actually the entire northeast looks very good and then as we head into monday and tuesday it looks like warmer temperatures are on the way now other than the, the high pressure system pushing its way across the northeast it looks like we are keeping an eye on tropical storm ophelia right now moving out to the northeast at around 70 miles an hour but as another ridge of high pressure builds in it could push it right back toward the u.s we'll have to keep an eye on it throughout today Day and tomorrow. Take a look at your planner. We've got a gorgeous day on tap. Very warm, 80 degrees as we head into the 4 o'clock hour with plenty of sunshine. The rest of your AccuWeather forecast coming up. Back to you. Janine, thank you. Topping our new whole lot. Oh, it's going to be a hefty figure. Exactly. Yeah, it's going to be a hefty figure. Americans are great. Yes, they are. to giving money. Very, very nice. Helping out. Right? Eight. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. Well, guys, we've got some nice weather in store for this weekend. Nice little dry stretch throughout the entire week. This very weekend nice. looks like very good once again. Our temperatures are a bit on the nippy 
northeast side, but no complaints. It's dry, it's warm, and it's going to get even warmer as we head into the start of the work week. More on your act about the percent of barometers on the rise. We've got variable winds at around 6 miles an hour. Absolutely gorgeous picture outside this morning. Other area of temperatures, we've got 70 degrees as we head to Andover. Somerville at 73 as well. As we zoom on out, Poughkeepsie at 70, Monticello at 70, JFK looking at 76 degrees right now. Now let's head to the tropics. We've got a few storms out here. Tropical Storm May, Tropical Storm Maria kind of uh, weakening uh, as we head out to the Atlantic. But as we get closer to the U.S., Tropical Storm Ophelia, it gets stronger, then it weakens. Right now it's a tropical storm as of 5 o'clock a.m. Now it's moving northeast at around 70 miles an hour. But as we head into tomorrow around 2 p.m., could become a hurricane once again. So we'll have to keep an eye on it, especially along the Carolina coast. Here's a better look at Ophelia churning just uh, east of the Carolinas, Georgia, as well as Florida. Well, as I said, right now it's out in, in the Atlantic. Uh, it's a tropical storm at the current time around 2 p.m. Should kind of make a turn back toward the U.S. as a Category 2. Should make landfall sometime on Tuesday. Rough surf and uh, uh, very uh, high rip currents across that area, so folks will have to be careful. In our area, dry and warm as high pressure continues to build into the northeast. That's why we are looking at a very gorgeous weekend. Looking at radar and satellite, you can see it's quiet across the entire tri-state area. Not, not hardly a cloud in the sky, just a gorgeous day on tap as we head throughout today. 80 degrees, nice and warm as that area of high pressure continues to build right on end. And once that slides on out, folks, we've got another ridge pushing its way into our area. That's what's going to bump our temperatures up as we head into the middle of the work week. 80 degrees for tomorrow, plenty of sunshine. Today, nice and pleasant, 80 degrees. And as we head into tomorrow, tonight actually, clear skies and comfortable, 62 degrees. Then tomorrow, wet weather, Wednesday and Thursday. But guys, right now, this weekend, start of the work week looks fantastic in our area. All right. But it's a nice little treat. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it. Thank you, Janine. Thanks a lot. We'll be right back. Oh, here's wishing you a happy cat birthday, happy cat birthday. Hey, where's the rest of me? Oh, you got dial-up. I don't have time to wait for my legs to show up. Happy Cat's got 25 more birthdays to do. I'm out of here. Dial-up makes even simple stuff impossible. But Verizon Online DSL gives you instant access to all of the web. And now at $14.95 a month, you can get broadband at dial-up prices. DSL? Happy Cat likes. Here's wishing you a happy cat birthday. The apartment I grew up week leading exactly. up to us. That's true. Let's see if the trend continues. Good morning once again, Janine. Good morning, Michelle and Joe. Yes, the trend will continue. It's going to be dry throughout the entire weekend. And wait till you see the five day in the full IQ weather forecast. Looks even better because our temperatures get warmer. Now we've got plenty of sunshine out there right now. Clear skies. Take a look at the temperatures. Uh, mainly in the 60s, but as we head west around Jersey, we've got temperatures in the 50s. So kind of cool out there this morning, but it will get better as we head throughout the day. Let's switch on over to the other system and take a look at AccuWeather radar and satellite. We've got high pressure in control of the entire northeast. That's what's bringing us the clear skies as well as the uh, coolest temperatures across the area. But the good news is it is dry. Let's see if we can switch on over to the other system, guys. There it is. Across the entire tri-state area, it is looking very good. The rest of our weekend will be fantastic. But the big weather story is Tropical Storm Ophelia just off the Carolina coast, moving out to the northeast, but it could make a turn right back toward the U.S. and make landfall sometime tomorrow as a Category 2 hurricane. So it's going kind of up and down. A gorgeous day in store for today. We'll get up to around 80 degrees. The rest of your AccuWeather forecast coming up. Back to the desk. Very nice. Thanks a lot, Janine. Leading the news this morning, new debate of their classmates. The kids get to watch DVDs. They're listening to music. Putting the windows up and down. They're lighting up the disco ball during their commute. And on special occasions, they even get a glass of bubbly, which we understand is soda, of course. Man. That you guys come to work like that every day, right? First they yeah. get good weather in San Diego, then they get that. <laughs> what, what happened? Pretty soon the Chargers will be good. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Very cute, very cute kids, and uh, it's all downhill from there. <laughs> it's Enjoy, it now. Now. <laughs> Enjoy it now. Enjoy it now. Hit them, and then... Then in the exactly. classroom. Well, guys, kind of nippy out there right now. Well, to me, because I'm just... Uh, I'm oh, always cold. Stupid. But, you know, we may need some long sleeves this morning, but for the most part, very nice weekend on tap. Plenty of sunshine. The sunny skies continue from the work week throughout the weekend. The start of the work week every day just looks fantastic. Let's take a look outside right now and see what's going on. Seven miles an hour, so just a fantastic day on tap. Here's a look at some of the other area temperatures out there. 60
62 West Hampton Beach, Bridgeport 62 degrees, and as we head on west around the five, rest of the five boroughs, Morristown 46, Monticello 46, Poughkeepsie looking at 48 degrees, and as we look at the tropics, a few storms we've been watching over the past couple of days, Tropical Storm Maria and Tropical Storm Nate, just kind of uh, weakening out in the Atlantic, but this is what we're watching, Tropical Storm Ophelia has uh, reduced its strength, actually around 5 o'clock, it's now a tropical storm, but as we head into tomorrow, could strengthen once again into a hurricane. By the time it makes landfall on the uh, South Carolina coast, could become a Category 2 hurricane. A uh, high surf across that area, you can see see the hurricane kind of churning out there on the coast of Georgia as well as Florida. As I said, it'll get stronger as we head into the 2 o'clock hour for tomorrow. So it's kind of uh, swirling around out there, but it will make its way back to the U.S. coast. So back home in our area, it is dry across the entire northeast. We've got high pressure in control of our area, dry and warm. And as we head into uh, the middle of the work week, it looks like warmer air in store for us. We'll get temperatures in the 90s. Take a look at the tri-state area. Not a cloud in the sky. It is just gorgeous across the entire area. So our weekend looks fantastic. Perfect for outdoor activities. 80 degrees for a high temperature for today. Nice and warm. And as we head into tomorrow, pretty much of the same. High temperature getting up to around 80 degrees. Our front will slide on out east. Then a ridge will build in from the west. That's what's going to warm us up as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday with temperatures near 90 degrees. Your active weather forecast. A pleasant day on tap. 80 degrees for today. Then tonight, nice and comfortable. Be fantastic as we head into the next couple of days. So just enjoy the nice weather. I think Fall we can do is that. just right around the corner. So yeah, I like September it. 20, 20. 20. 20. Yeah. We'll be ready. Thank you, Janine. Thanks, Janine. Straight ahead on Iowa News Saturday morning, the political storm. Ooh. Ooh. Five match points in the second set, but in the third and final set, it was Kleister's who prevailed. She wins. She with you. The Jets and Giants open the regular season tomorrow. Only one game's been played so far. It was Thursday night, Pats and Raiders. Otherwise, the season hasn't even started yet, and already prognosticators have a Super Bowl winner and a score. Come on, anyone can blindly pick a winner because that's what you're doing. You're blindly picking. Why are we so heck bent on playing the games before they're played? Injuries, upsets, Cinderella stories, factor those in and parody reigns supreme in the NFL. That being said, the Colts are going to beat the Eagles hey. in the Super Bowl 34 <laughs> to 17. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Come on. I don't know. I don't know, but if everyone else is doing it. I thought parody was reigning supreme. <laughs> Whatever, that was the first Whatever. sentence. Oh, anyway, wow. you got to pick? Come on, I know you do, Joe. Oh. It was his beef, and he's got a winner, right? Say so Eagles. Say Eagles. 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 You may not like that. And I'm oh, sure yeah. if you press hard enough, we'll probably have a score, too. <laughs> <laughs> was a good beef. There you go. <laughs> Thank you for that. Dennis. Thank you. Okay. All right. We'll be right back with Top Stories when we come back. Stuff to do week. today, I hope, outside. Mm -hmm. Have a good time. Enjoy it. Janine Anderson has a look at our Accu of the Forecast. Hi, Janine. Morning, hey, Jane. guys. Well, you're right. It's going to be a fantastic day. Great day for outdoor activities. Right now, we've got plenty of sunshine, clear skies, and the temperatures are in the 50s and the 60s. As, as we head further west, we get into the 50s. A little cooler, but for the most part, it is nice and comfortable outside right now. Let's switch on over to the other system, taking a look at AccuWeather radar and satellite. It is quiet across the entire northeast and the tri-state area. We've got high pressure building in. It's keeping our skies clear and it's keeping our temperatures uh, kind of on the cool side this morning. We'll get up to around 80 degrees as we head into our, our afternoon for a high temperature for today. But for the most part, it will get warmer as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. That is the good news. Now, as we zoom on out here, the biggest weather story is uh, Tropical Storm Ophelia just along the Carolina, Georgia, and Florida coast. Now, right now, it's pushing its way out northeast around 70, 75 mile an hour. But as we head into tomorrow, it's expected to uh, kind of make a turn, do a little loop out there, and head its way right back toward the U.S. Make landfall sometime tomorrow uh, around uh, Charlotte, uh, Charleston, actually, around 2 o'clock p.m. So rough surf in that area. We're keeping an eye on that. It will definitely strengthen. And also, we've got uh, Tropical Storm Nate and Maria out there in the Atlantic. Good news, those two are weakening. Here's a look at your planner as we head throughout the day. 8 o'clock, nice and comfortable this morning. Good morning for a stroll. 64 degrees, a gorgeous day on tap. Plenty of sunshine. Shine. Enjoy your day. The full IQ weather forecast coming up. Back to the desk. All right. Thank you so much, Janine. Now to the Katrina tragedy. Authorities in New Orleans say the death toll there could be far less than the. Jimmy crazy and brushing my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute little it's, doggy. It's, it's hygiene. So gorgeous. The air hates the yeah. teeth brushing. Yeah. You brush a dog. It's you... like he he can't breathe or something. Right. Yeah. Start. Doing all this is a good boy. But you know, I took right. him when I was at home on vacation. I took him to a groomer in Cleveland. Yeah. Bad yeah. idea. The lady gave him a buzz cut at oh, the time. No. Oh no! Oh, yeah. 
Was he, uh, did he have an attitude after that? Yeah, he yeah. had an attitude. He wasn't mad. Usually he'll jump up and show off, no. but no. he's like, Mom, I'm bald. What's I look bad. bad. <laughs> What's going on? Cut. Mom, like it all. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get him a hat this winter. But guys, we've got some gorgeous weather, weather in store throughout the rest of our weekend. And mm -hmm. for the start of our work weekend, temperatures yeah. are going to get even warmer. We'll get up to around 90 degrees, definitely uh, above the average for this time of year. Let's take a look outside right now and see what's going on. We rise, winds out of the north, out of the northeast at around 7 miles an hour. And here's a look at some of the other temperatures around the area, mainly in the uh, 50s and 60s. It's got a little something going on there, but Sussex County, it's around 46 degrees. Jersey City, it is 61. Now, as we head to the tropics, a few storms out here in the Atlantic Ocean. Tropical storm Nate and Maria just kind of swirling around out there and actually those two are weakening in strength but we are watching tropical storm Ophelia right now heading northeast at around 70 miles an hour but as it kind of makes a turn back toward the U.S. as we head into tomorrow afternoon is expected to become a category two hurricane once again so here's a better look as we zoom on out of tropical storm Ophelia it should affect the uh, Carolina coast Georgia coast and the Florida coast as we head into uh, today and for tomorrow with a high surf as well as rip current, so kind of rough in that area, making landfall around 2 p.m. on Sunday, uh, actually actually Monday, 2 p.m. on Monday as a Category 2 hurricane. But as we head back home this weekend, dry and warm, high pressure in control of the entire Northeast. And as we head into Monday, I told you, temperatures are going to get much warmer. Take a look at this. We've got a ridge of high pressure building its way into our area. It is going to bring very hot temperatures to the region, definitely above uh, average for this time of year. Just a very nice weekend store. Here's a look at AccuWeather radar and satellite. It's quiet across the tri-state area, not a cloud in the sky. Definitely a weekend for outdoor activities. So today, 80 degrees, nice and warm. And as we head into tomorrow, temperatures will stick around that 80 degree mark. Still a gorgeous uh, day to uh, head on out to the park, maybe walk the dog or even uh, go bike riding. And then as we head into the start of next week, temperatures get warm. You can pull out the shorts, the tank tops, just keep them out. This is going to be a hot one. You may even have to turn on the air conditioning. And here's your AccuWeather forecast. As for today, pleasant 80 degrees for the high temperature. Those 90 degree temps, hey, just in time. Yeah. Uh, your yeah. five day in just a little bit, and I'll show it to you. All right, we'll take it. Thank I'm you. So I'm, worried about, I'm so worried about Pierre and his little hat. He's going to have to wear all this all winter. Thank you. Thanks, Jimmy. We have a great programming note to pass along to you tonight here on at WABC. We take a look at the issue of, of their classmates of the weekend. Take a look at some of these temperatures 80 degrees for a high temperature for today as well as tomorrow. Then, as we head into Monday and Tuesday, we've got a ridge building into the region. That that's going to take our temperatures up even higher. 90 degrees for Monday, 88 on Tuesday. We'll see plenty of sunshine. Then as we head into Wednesday, guys, we know Ophelia is just off the Carolina coast. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Should become a Category 2 hurricane mm -hmm. as we head into uh, Monday. But for us, it could possibly bring us bring us some rain for the middle of the work week. All right. All right. Thank you, Janine. Thanks, Janine. Have a good one. You too. That'll do it for this edition of Eyewitness News Saturday morning. I'm Michelle Charlesworth. And I'm Joe Torres. Good morning, America is next. Have a great Saturday, everyone. We'll see you here again tomorrow morning. Yeah. Game season and of course tropical storm Ophelia.